authentic. Who are you? You, you, you. Look at me, look at me. 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 Look that's how that thing sound. For some reason, when you put it in reverse, I guess because nobody hit. And I don't want to be liable for you hit nobody. That's the only way I can see it, but that's what it is, man. That thing sound like a whole spaceship taking off. But today going to be a kind of busy day. You know, we got, we're going to be dealing with the Tesla. We're going to be dealing with the wide body. And we're going to be dealing with the 300, man. So... First of all, let me give y'all a cold start. All right, so the car been sitting up for a couple days now. So we're gonna go ahead and see what that cold start be like. And now we're gonna go ahead and get on the road. First, I be forgetting how to drive this car, man. That, uh, that Tesla, well, in that Tesla, everything is so automatic. You ain't gotta hit no button. You just get in, put it in reverse, and go. But uh, and that, it's just it's just a big difference from from that to this, and from this to that. You know, be having me confused, man. I be hopping out this car without even hitting the button to turn it off. It's crazy, man, for real. Cause once you get out the Tesla, it's like uh, you ain't gotta hit nothing. You just get out, door automatically lock itself, windows automatically roll up. It take all the guesswork out of everything you got, man. But uh, so right now, we about to head to the dealership. Go ahead and get this good oil change in, man. This will be my first oil change since I had the car. And I had the car around six months. A little over six months. Something like that, man. And it's crazy because the only time I, I really, I really driven this car is you know highway miles going to houston going to mississippi to a car show here car show there quick trip to new orleans you know that's the only time i really drove this car for show purposes and that, that's it it's crazy man but uh first all change man first all change ever right now i got five thousand nine hundred and twenty three miles on the car man i got more miles on my tesla you know what I'm saying? More miles on my Tesla than I got on this car. And I had this car months before I got the Tesla. That's crazy. I tell you how much I drive the Tesla, man. And I never took the Tesla on the trip. Never took the Tesla on one high mileage trip yet. And I still got more miles on the three than I got on the scat pack. Tell me that ain't crazy, bro. Tell me that ain't crazy. But um, I think it's like... 6,500 and something miles on the Tesla just in these few months. That tell you how much I love driving that car. It's like the perfect daily car. But when you get in here and you hear that engine, it's like, it's like on a whole nother level, man. But y'all already know that. Y'all make sure y'all follow the Instagram, Authenticated. And I've been doing like car content on TikTok. So, if you on TikTok, make sure you follow me on that TikTok, man. Same name, Authentic Benny. You know, you're gonna see car, car content, family content, fashion, get some new shoes. It's probably gonna be on the TikTok. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you follow that. Uh, we just having fun with it, you know. So after we drop this car off, we are gonna be going to pick up the Chrysler 300S, man. Go pick that thing up. Like I said, it's like a joy to get in that car and ride it again after it's been a minute. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the car been doing good, you know, been making its own money, been making it, you know, been making money, you know. I can't be mad at that. But that comes at a cost, you know. It comes at a major, major cost. As y'all know, I had the car in the shop. You know, I recently picked it up. And I'm gonna let y'all know how everything turned out with that with repairing the car and all that once we pick it up. But I've had some issues because of lowering my car, you know. As y'all know, man, everybody don't know how to ride a car. Everybody don't know how to drive a car that's lowered. You 
got to know what you're doing pretty much and this don't work when i'm renting my car out like that you got to have something for everybody so i decided to put the factory springs back on my car and you know they repaired the issue from uh the last guy who got the car who you know had the incident in it hit the undercarriage it was crazy man but got everything fixed up got everything repaired got them paid and everything so i'll walk y'all through everything once we pull up to the car and um you know get a good walk around of the car and we gotta actually take that car to get more maintenance today so i'll be filling y'all in on that later too man so we shall see man we will see all right we just pulling up in this thing you know i to go ahead and get this thing serviced gotta get my mask on damn i keep forgetting that but uh definitely gotta have that on and uh like i said we're gonna drop this thing off and we're gonna pick up the 300 man gotta take the 300 to get service so we're gonna see about that what's up man how you doing man good what's going on uh i came in for an oil change all right cool you gonna wait on it nah i'm gonna just come back and pick it up later what's your cell number baby 225 three did you buy a tesla too yeah i got a model three i saw it i was like <laughs> damn that thing is clean i just saw it come in with the wrap on it Oh, it just came in? No, the oh. other day when you came by in it. Oh, I she guess should you're be picking up the 300, maybe. Yeah, she should be right behind. She'll be pulling up. I saw it. I was like, damn, this dude's got everything. <laughs> so now you got three cars? Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. Cool. Gave you the keys, right? Yep, I got All right, cool, cool. I'm gonna just wait in until she pull up, I guess. Okay. That's cool. All right. My guy just got me right, man. You know. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. three into the 300 man just dropped off the 392 <laughs> it's crazy man i don't know what it is with me and these threes with these cars but i'm starting to see a pattern here man for real for real boom yeah buddy all right man we in here and like i always say you never like i always forget how nice this car is you know, after not driving it for a while. But man, this thing is like real nice. Drop the top, especially in weather like this. You know, it's 71 degrees and I'm just riding along, just vibing, you know. It's good, you know, it's good. Especially with, hold on, let me, I ain't even getting y'all everything. I gave y'all half a sunroof, man. Can't be doing that. Got the double sunroof up there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, man, it's good, it's good. I will be pulling up down here so I can get y'all walk around of the car. Look, I just let my hand off the steering wheel, expecting it to keep me in the lane like the Tesla, man. I swear the Tesla, it handicapped you when it comes to driving, bro. But uh, we'll be pulling up down here, get y'all walk around and assess the damages from the last rental because there was some damages, as y'all seen in the last video. I had to take this car to an auto mechanic shop to get everything looked at, everything fixed. And there was some damage they had to get done. There was some damage that they had to repair. So uh, we will be giving y'all a walk around, letting y'all see exactly what happened. If you watch all the videos, you'll know I took it to the dealership and the dealership completely turned the job down. They was like, we not gonna touch it. We not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? It was just that bad. I had to take it to a mechanic shop to get fixed, which was, which was ridiculous, man. So, uh, I mean, look, man, they got this uh, Camaro in front of me just cutting up. He been cutting up the whole time. But, uh, like I said, I'm gonna walk y'all around, let y'all know what the mechanic shop did, and um, let y'all know what we gotta do from here because I still gotta spend money to get this car right, you know, from, uh, you know, the damage from the last renter. And also damage from adding miles to your car. So this will be a lesson learned at the same time, you know. 
So, uh, like I said, when I pull up, I'll let y'all know what's up. So we got the 300 down at the dead end, man. As you can see, that thing in the background. Uh, like I said, man, we had some mishaps with the car. You know, renters, not. Let's just say they wasn't driving right, <laughs> you know, which caused damage to the underbody of my car. Uh, you had a guy who hit the speed bump. I said this in other videos, but I know everybody don't watch every video. So the uh, guy hit the speed bump, and he ruined the uh the bottom of my car like i had to get a few parts replaced and all that and i ended up just going with the factory springs back on the car to lift the car back to factory ride height because i don't want to ever have that happen again you know some people know how to drive with a lower car like me it's nothing nothing normal i mean it's, it feels normal to me and to a lot of other people but i guess some people just don't know you can't go fast over a speed bump I, I mean it seemed like common sense to me but maybe i'm wrong so this is what it is man uh pretty much we back at factory ride height we back at factory ride height man it's like a love hate thing because i know the car gonna be good at this height but it's uh, it just take away from the appearance of the car to me you know but I guess I get used to it, man. I still love that snub nose, man. That's like the best look of the car. Like this side angle view with that, with that nose just tilting down like that. That's the best look of the car to me. The car still look clean, still look good. But I just think it looked a whole lot better when I had the chrome, I mean the bronze wheels on there. And it was dropped down to the ground. That was like the best look. But it's not the greatest look for what I'm going for. And I know everybody can't drive with low profile tires, so that's the first thing that I took off when I knew I was going to be renting this car. Had to take the low profile tires off with the rims because I can see it now, man. Damaged wheels and damaged tires, like back to back. So I had to take that off first. Secondly, had to take off the springs, man, which, again, takes away from the car, man. But they had to go factory springs back on so i put the factory springs back on and they also fixed the damage to my underbody but i noticed one thing i didn't notice why my car was lowered <sighs> the people who lowered my car they must have i don't know <laughs> i don't know if they aligned to the factory specs or they missed something in the alignment process but it damaged my tires man like the inside of my tires is damaged the front not so much the front still pretty good man i don't have to replace these but the back are completely done they completely done for it y'all know i just got this car this year just got this car this year with brand new tires on and everything you know for the people who don't know i got this car before i got the scat pack the orange scat pack man this was it. This was my only car for a while, a, a, a few months, you know. This was my baby. This still my baby, but you know what I mean. Uh, this was it. And then later on, I got the Scat. Then a few months later, got the Tesla. What I'm trying to get at is I got this car with brand new tires on it. And if you look all the way to the inside, this thing is ball as an eagle man i'm talking about ridiculous almost showing wire on the inside so we definitely got to get them replaced today got to get the two two rear tires replaced i mean it's probably a good thing that this did happen because my car was renting out back to back back to back so i never really had time to you know take the tires off and inspect and all that before the next rental it was like back to back so I'm glad this did happen to kind of slow me down a little bit to reassess things. So I already got the car serviced, fully serviced. Got a fresh oil in it. About to get some fresh tires. I will be having the interior steam clean. 
and everything is gonna be like brand new again you know brand new tires everything gonna be fresh all over again so that's what it is man that's what it is man but she doing good she alive she well i know people say i need to put on the channel more often and that will be coming soon it's just that you know people people love this car they get this car they book this car so often to where i barely even have it at home you know and once i put it back out there i know it's gonna be the anchor is gonna be coming back you know but she taking a little break right now we'll be driving it around today taking to get the tires you know um we'll be going to get the steam clean tomorrow so we don't know we're gonna see what's up man let y'all check out the interior the top first y'all know i wrapped that myself and uh uh uh, I think it was Avery Avery gloss black look just like glass up there. It's crazy, right? Then we get the interior I Got my stuff everywhere right now, you know my wires. I need to clean that up, but interior still looking good You know the s Embroidered on the seats Everything look good with that panoramic sunroof, you know everything perfect everything perfect you know you know them piping on the seats everything look good man just gotta uh take it to get them tires done of course i'm going to discount tires man i stick with people who do good business so i just see y'all when we pull up there let's get it all right man we just pulled up at the discount tire about to get the thing in and get that thing out man Adding some fresh brand new tires, like I said, um, to the back of the whip. So uh, that's gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, man. Again, make sure you follow them Instagrams. So Authenticated is the car page, and Authentic Benny is the personal page. Also, the TikTok, man. Authentic Benny on TikTok. Make sure you follow that, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty dope content. Funny thing about TikTok, I always used to drive my kids about being on the uh, like crazy, and then. I messed around and posted a few videos and it just took off. I got more more followers on uh, TikTok than any other social media platform. So y'all go check that out right now, man. Go check that out right now. Uh, I will be picking both cars up tomorrow. So that'll be on tomorrow's vlog. You know, let y'all know how to all change. You know, get my uh, scat back, get this car back. And this car will be back on the market you know so uh i'll holler at y'all on the next video man once again my name is authentic benny and i'm out